What's normal? I'm Mr. Beat. I'm not normal. And you know what? These are not normal times. The whole world is in a pandemic right now. You know what? I better let my brother know about this. Hello? Steven, there's a very contagious virus going around right now. Don't leave your home. But if you do leave your home, only leave what? to get toilet paper and food. And make sure you wear a mask. Okay. I appreciate you letting me know. I was wondering if something was going on. Yeah, well, I figured I better tell you since you don't watch the news. What is news? I'll talk to you later, bro. Toodles. Anyway, yeah, times are crazy right now. And we all want to return to normalcy. To normalcy. 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 It seems normal to say that word now, but the word never used to be normally said. In fact, it only recently seems to be more, um, normal to use it in conversation. Check out Google Trends. See that bump in the middle of March, right when the pandemic was beginning to cause lockdowns across the world? Normalcy even caught up with Rick rolling for a bit. Impressive. Anyway, we can thank Warren G. Harding, the 29th president of the United States, for first popularizing the word normalcy. He apparently first used it in a speech in Brooklyn in February 1920, just over 100 years ago. It might have been an accident. After all, Harding was not known to be a good speaker, nor even a very intelligent man. Regardless, he later began using the word more and more as he liked the sound of it, even making it part of his official campaign slogan as he ran for president. Normal times and a return to normalcy. On May 14th, 1920, he gave a well-known speech that brought the word into the mainstream. Quote, America's present need is not heroics, but healing, not nostrums, but normalcy, not revolution, but restoration. Harding later clarified he didn't want the country to go back to traditional ways that hindered progress. Rather, he just wanted there to be less chaos and more routine to ease the nation's anxieties. You see, 1920 was after two years of lots of chaos. World War I had just ended in November 1918, but things remained crazy due to a horrifying pandemic commonly known as the Spanish flu. It killed anywhere from 50 to 100 million people worldwide and had a frighteningly high mortality rate for young adults, an age group that normally doesn't have to worry as much about influenza outbreaks. Not only that, but 1919 saw an increase in race riots, the first Red Scare, and a president who was unable or unwilling to do much about it. The Cynical Historian has a terrific video about 1919. Check it out after this video if you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, so yeah, the country was anxious and yearned for normality, or as Harding called it, normalcy. While Harding seemed so proud of himself using that word, his critics most definitely made fun of him for using it. They mostly said that Harding was an idiot because that word didn't exist, and he was indeed mixing it up with a real word, normality. One such critic said, quote, The friends of Senator Harding are defending his language now by saying that normalcy is a perfectly good word. Well, so is jackastical. When applied to fantastic verbiage, newspaper editors literally changed Harding's quoted normalcy to normality, assuming he made an error. After Harding's unexpected death in 1923, the historian George N. Clark said, quote, If normalcy is ever to become an accepted word, it will presumably be because the late president did not know any better. Even today, one of the most popular Google searches related to the word is, is normalcy a word? In fact, when you search normalcy, normality still pops right up. Still, Harding had the last laugh. Normalcy is more popular than ever, and it's all thanks to him. But did he invent the word? As it turns out, nope.
Normalcy has been in use at least since 1855, although it was mostly only used by math geeks before Harding. By the 1860s, the word was appearing in dictionaries all over the place, and by the 1890s, theologians were using it in discussions. But mainstream folks certainly were not using the word much. So by 1920, either Harding had a really extended vocabulary and was a math geek, or he accidentally said normality wrong and then later played it off as if he knew what he was doing all along. I'm going to assume that it was the latter. As many of you already know, I do not think that highly of President Harding. For more on why that is, check out my Worst Presidents video. Regardless, thank you, Warren Harding, for popularizing the word normalcy. It is an outstanding word, and most of my Twitter folks agree with me that it is so much better than that boring word, normality. Oh, excuse me, I have another phone call. Oh, it's my brother again. Yeah, it's me again. Hey, Steven. I was just calling you to let you know that your website sucks. What? It's very difficult to navigate, and what? I can barely make it out on my mobile phone. Well, fine. Just redo it then, and for a great price. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Good day. Does your website suck? I hope it doesn't, because you're missing out on potential business. If you're unsure if your website sucks or not, just head over to beatswebdesign.com and fill out the information there to receive your free website audit. We will then personally audit your website to see where we can help improve it so you can get the results you are looking for. So if your website sucks like this guy's, we will help enhance it for you and make it more spiffy. Just give us a call today or contact us on our website for a free quote. And don't worry, we will spiff up your website so it doesn't suck anymore. So yeah, that's my brother's company. Check it out. Uh, he paid me a million dollars to sponsor this video, so I figured, hey, I'd give him some time. Also, one more thing to check out. If you or a family member is thinking about applying to college, have them check out checklistprogram.com. It was created by Harvard students to make college more affordable and accessible. Use the link below to learn more and sign up for a free two-week trial. So what do you think? Is normalcy normal? Is Joe Biden the normalcy presidential candidate like Harding was 100 years ago? Let me know in the comments below. A shout out to my viewer in Normal, Illinois. If you are watching from Normal, I definitely want to hear from you. Thanks for watching like you normally do.